Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. So check it out, man. We're on to the um, AFC, NFC, you know, conf conference championship round of the playoffs. But check out what Skip Bayless put on Twitter here, man. I want to hear what everyone thinks about this kind of a, I don't know, crazy tweet. He says, have to believe Eagles decision makers are somewhat relieved they lost. If Foles had gone on to win it all again, they couldn't have let him go. So what do you guys think, man, about the whole, uh, you know, all NFL fans, Eagles fans, everybody out there, please. My channel that got deleted before had a lot of NFL sports content, especially NFL on there. And I loved hearing everybody's take on everything. I mean, what do you guys think about the whole... Wentz, you know, Foles, <clears throat> um, I don't want to say quarterback controversy because it wasn't exactly that. Wentz was the clear-cut starter, you know, but check this out, man. Like, do we really, did, does anybody really think the Eagles are relieved or, you know, decision makers, I guess the front office is relieved that they lost that, that they lost that, that Foles didn't go on to, to pull it off again. I mean, I don't know. At, at the end of last season, everyone felt Foles would be traded and, you know, he was still there. And it's a great backup. But I, I, this is just a crazy statement to me. I, I don't feel anyone's ever happy to lose, especially a playoff game. You know what I mean? Um, it just seems kind of crazy to me. I'm not a huge Skip Bayless guy, but that's not why I'm you know, coming at him about this tweet. I just think it's pretty ridiculous. And then one of my follow or one of the people I follow follows me here. You see this guy, Frank Barber. He says, you continue to amaze me. Relieve they lost. Their job is to win championships or to get as close as possible each year. And each year is different. What to do at QB next season is not what they're thinking as they're up 14 to nothing or when they ultimately lose. And I agree with uh, what um, Frank here, Hannibal Lecter, saying, man. He's, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm Bill's Mafia, Hannibal Lecter. He's the dude. You'll see him in the stands. He's a super fan. You'll see him a lot with the Hannibal Lecter mask painted up with Bill stuff. He's a cool dude, man. Um, but yeah, I agree with what he's saying here. You already see I liked and retweeted it. But I don't know, guys. I mean, what, what, do you, what does everybody think? Had full say when went to go just pull it off go all the way again. What well, I mean, what happens with Foles? See, it's it's kind of crazy with Foles. Do you guys think that it's just more of the system in the team with him? Because we've seen this before, where Foles played good in Philly. You know, total different. That was Chip Kelly back then, but he went to um, the Rams and couldn't. You know, he couldn't really. He didn't. He couldn't duplicate the success he had there, but he's been a great backup in um, Philly. You know, his second time around with the Eagles, he won them the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't know. This was just a little. This is just crazy to me. I don't feel with me. I don't feel anyone's ever happy to lose. I'm always the guy like when um someone's saying a team's tanking. I don't. I'm never. I'm never for tanking. I don't care if. It gets me, you know, the next O.J. Simpson or something like that. People are going to probably rip me for saying O.J. But I'm just saying, or the next Barry Sanders. I don't want to lose. I don't ever want my team to lose. I want my team to win. But um, let's see what other, some of the replies here. They say, once the happiest man in Philly right now. Can't believe I agree with you on this one. With this guy, I actually feel pretty good about the Cowboys winning at the Rams. Most people are missing the point. I will explain. Foles got them to the playoffs. I think they had a hard choice looming. I don't know, guys. I'm just going over some of these replies here. But, oh, this guy says, it is a good point. You're not happy you lost. But when you get over it, but when you get over that part, you realize that it made things easier. Do you realize how hard it would be to let a two-time Super Bowl winning QB walk when he's not even 30 and deciding to go with the guy who hasn't won a playoff game yet? I don't know, guys. I'm about to close this video out. But as I said, I want to hear your guys' take on this, this tweet that Skip put out. Hey, does anyone remember the one time when Skip 
replied to his own post on social media. I believe it was on Facebook and was talking about um, his show, how great his show was. And um, he was still under the skip account. Like he thought he was going under a burner account to praise the show. Do you guys remember that? I thought that was hilarious. But yeah, I'm going to close this video out. Um, what do you, let me guys let me know guys what you think is going to happen when Nick Foles where you think he'll be a good fit what teams will be interested and um, yes about this tweet as well let me know let me know it all guys Jay Coffee Talk always wants to hear your input that's what my channel is all about so get up in these comments guys and please also hit that like and subscribe guys it only takes you a minute to do helps my channel grow i'm trying to get back to where i was i was at 600 subs channel got deleted it's now i'm only at like 50 45 subs or something like that so you got to hit the bell also so you get the notifications for the videos thanks for watching guys i'm on bottom here peace